for me. Come on, make it fast. How many have you done with that? What about others? What about others? Disha, Anjali, Abhinaya, and uh, Adhyasha, Anjali. What about others? Why not they? Why, Adhyati, why didn't you start it? Why didn't you start it? Tell me, Adhyati, why didn't you start it? I couldn't attend yesterday's class for some reason. So I didn't know we had to do Yeah, why weren't you option for this class? Something else came up at home, so I couldn't come. Then have you gone to the recording videos? I started it, sir. Please go to that. If you are not going to that, you will not understand. Please. Okay, sir. Okay. Let's get started. Everyone, please. Daria. Just a minute. So till what we have finished yesterday? Parametric form of the circles. Am I correct? Hello? Yes. I have given you the question. I have given you for the question as a homework. How many have you done the parametric form of this one? What is the parametric form of this one? Parametric form, parametric form of this circle is dash. So, what is the parametric form? Yesterday we have solved this. I mean, yesterday I have, I mean, like last class I have given this question to you all. Okay. So, first, what we have to do here? Tell me. Dividing the equation by 3. So what would you get? x square plus y square minus 4 by 3x minus 2y minus 4 by 3 is equal to 0. What is the center? What is the center? Minus g comma f, right? So many capital the is half of this. If it is minus, your center will be plus here. If it is minus, it will be plus here. So half of what? What is half of 4 by 6 comma 1? Am I correct? 4 by 6 comma 1 is the center. I told the shortcut half of this and half of this. If they are negative, your center would be in positive. If they are negative, it would be, it would be in positive. If it is positive, it would be negative. That is the shortcut. What is the radius? What is the radius? 
so this uh, could be written as 2 by 3 so uh, now center can be modified as 2 by 3 comma 1 okay 4 by 9 plus 1 in 2 by 3 square is 4 by 9 plus 1 square is 1 minus what is the value of c here c is equal to minus 4. so minus of minus 4, which gives you plus 4 right 4 by 9 plus 1 plus 4 which gives you what 4 plus 1 second So, 4 plus 1 plus, uh, what is LCM? LCM is 4 plus 9 plus, 4 plus 9 plus 36 divided by 9. So, 49 divided by 9, which gives you what? 7 by 3. 49 square is, I mean, square root of 49 is 7, square root of 9 is 3. Okay. So, this is what, uh, this is what uh, the, what radius am i correct am i correct what is the value of c here so my goodness value of c here is we made a mistake look at the value of c here is what value of c is equal to minus 4 by 3 we are considering this equation not this equation why because we modified the given equation as <coughs> then our c value would be changing here so be careful, look at this here, 4 by 3 here, 4 by 3 is nothing but you, here you will get 12, 12 uh, is nothing but 12, so 13 plus, how much, 25, 25 by 9 gives you 5 by 3, am I correct, square root of 25 by 9 gives you 5 by 3, am I right, yes, so now what is the parametric form of the circle which has been uh, given to you here, what is the parametric form of this circle? See, basically, what is center minus z comma minus f? What I have asked you to do is just add the centers to the r cos theta and r sin theta. Okay. So, parametric form of, therefore, parametric form. See, for writing parametric form of any circle, what you need? You need center and the radius. That is must and should. Clear? So first, your job is to find the center and radius. Then it is easy for you to find out the parametric form later on. Am I clear? Is it clear, guys? Parametric form of the given circle is what? You write x uh, parametric form of the a given circle. You need not write all this stuff. Like, you know, parametric form is what? Basically, parametric form is equal to what? X, uh, I mean, minus G plus R cos theta, comma, minus F plus R sin theta. Okay. So, minus G, I'm writing minus G here. What is the G value? I mean, what is the center? Minus G and comma, minus F. 2 by 3, comma, 1, right? So, 2 by 3 plus R r is nothing but 5 by 3 cos theta and the minus 1 plus 5 by 3 sin theta so this is what your parametric form is going to be see since there is no value of theta then i'm not going to disturb this parametric form at all so that is going to be my final answer okay fine is it clear yes sir. yes now we will give you the one more we'll give you one more question where is like you, know, you can find out the answer of that question within uh, 15 seconds only 15 seconds of time i'm giving you i'm going to give you the 15 seconds of time you must finish the question within 15 seconds the equation of the curve in a cartesian form cartesian form he has given is x is equal to 2 plus 3 cos theta and y is equal to 3 minus 3 sin theta he has given what in terms of Cartesian form. Cartesian form and parametric form he has given. He has given in Cartesian form, which is nothing but parametric form. He has given equations in parametric form. Okay. And what exactly is asking us to find? He is asking us to find that. Then what is the center and radius? What is the center and radius? Hello. Please unmute yourself. Who is that?
okay fine find out the answer of this Yes, what is the answer? Hello, what is the answer? Just can you compare what is the radius here? Tell me what is the radius? What is the radius? Then can't you come the many of you might be thinking that sir, we can compare this equation with what r plus I mean x plus or g plus h plus something we can compare this h plus r cos theta and y is equal to uh, k plus r sin theta something like that we can compare with this and just find out the radius value and center value yeah that is a way but look at this here you have minus you have minus here so if at all i say this as my radius r is equal to 3 i have here I have minus here radius cannot be negative if it is in negative what happens what happens if it is a negative, what happens? It, 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 no, you, you can't represent a, a perfect circle. It is an imaginary point. I mean, it's an imaginary case. Radius can't be negative, isn't it? Like, oh, radius should be greater than zero. Then only I can frame a circle. If at all radius should uh, radius is great, I mean, equal to zero, still you can't frame a circle. You know, that particular case, if you are going to appear, that is going to call as for, uh, a point circle, right? If radius is zero, how can you draw the circle? Not possible. So less than zero. If at all I have less than zero, that is imaginary case. Radius cannot be negative. So here, even you just go with that method, that is not going to work out. Then what is an alternate method here? What is an alternate method? Tell me. Hmm. What is the center and radius of RT here? See, can you just shift x minus 2 is equal to 3 cos theta? 
y minus 3 is equal to minus 3 sin theta. Okay. Is it clear? So finding center, we need what? We need what we need. Center can be my, you know, a h comma k value and g comma k, a h value. Okay. G comma minus f. So I mean g comma f minus g comma minus f. For finding radius, like, you know, you need r here and you need what? g square plus f square plus I mean, minus c. But there is no point of writing minus c. We, we need, I mean, we don't have an option to write c here. So then that is not possible. This is the given circle is not in the form of the given circle is not in the form of like, you know, any general equation of the circle and standard form of the circle. It simply has given parametric form of a particular circle. What, a, what is the radius of and is what is the center of that particular circle? That is my question. So, see, for finding that, for finding that, what I have to do? See, here, can I do squaring on both sides? Can I do squaring on both sides? X minus 2 whole square is equal to 3 cos theta whole square. Similarly, you follow here. Y minus 3 whole square is equal to and minus 3 sin theta whole square. Okay, so x square a square plus b square minus 4x is equal to 9 cos square theta. All right, if a square plus b square minus 6y is equal to 9 sin square theta. This is what I got. See, by looking at this, by looking at this, what I have to do? See, let us consider this as one and second equation. So, by looking at this one and two. What idea you are getting? Tell me. What must be our idea? What idea you must apply here? Tell me. You have sine square theta and cos square theta. What do you have to do? See, whenever you get, whenever you get to uh, write something like cos square theta and sine square theta with the same coefficient, blindly you add those two equations. Blindly, you add those two equations. Look at this. If I add 1 plus 2, why should we add that? Why? Because cos square theta plus sin square theta gives me 1. All right. So, x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y and plus 9 plus 4 gives me 13. Okay. And 13, it is not B, 13. In fact, it is 6. Okay. So, 9 of sin square theta plus cos square theta. Okay, so x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y plus 13 and minus, this is 9 into 1, 9 into 1, isn't it? This gives me 1 here, so 9 into 1 is 9 only. So 13 minus 9, 13 minus 9 is equal to <coughs> 0. x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y plus 4 is equal to 0. This is what my circle. So what is the center here? What is the center? 2 comma 3. What is the radius? What is the radius? 4 plus 9 minus 4. What is the radius? 3 is my radius. Isn't it an easy question? Yeah. See, if you, this is my method 2. In fact, this is my method 2. Now look at this here. If at all I give the option, if at all I give the option, then how quickly you decide the option. If I give the option, how quickly you decide the option? Let's check. That's a challenge. That's a challenge to you for five seconds. Okay, if within five seconds, you must decide the answer. After giving the option, you must decide within five seconds. Okay, option A gives me uh, center is two comma three and radius, I'm writing R. Okay, radius is equal to three, some three units. And the center is minus two comma three and radius is equal to 3. Okay? Radius is equal to still 3. Option C, center is 2 comma minus 3, radius is equal to 3. Option D, none. Tell me. Option D, none. Hello? See, everywhere radius 3, 3, 3, 3 half. Okay, so in fact, you take the fourth option as well. Fourth option you take, center is what? Uh, you say minus 2 comma minus 3 and radius is equal to 3. Still 3. Everywhere I have radius 3 beta. Everywhere I have radius 3. See, all you have to do here is what? Find out the center. Find out the center. Now, can I say that this is mine? This is mine. X is equal to 
एक्स इज इक्वल जी प्लस जी प्लस और हेच प्लस आर कास्टिटा एंड के प्लस आर आर साइंटिटा देन हेच कमा के इज माई सेंटर टू कमा थ्री इज माई सेंटर लोक क्लिक एंड डिसाइड लाइक दैट इमीडिएटली और एल्स यू नो इफ यू आर नॉट यू नो अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट वे इन दैट वे इन दैट वे जस्ट गो विथ नॉर्मल यू नो सॉल्विंग इक्वेशन जस्ट गो विथ नॉर्मल मेथड कॉल्ड सॉल्विंग इक्वेशन See, I'm solving an equation. I'm just getting this equation, this equation. After solving what I'm doing here, adding these two equations so that, so that I'm getting center as two comma three, two comma three, and radius as three. This is what my answer of the given question. Hope it is clear. Hope it is clear. Clear, people. Any doubts? Any doubts? See, if you are intelligent student, then. I will delete all these options here. Only remain option is what? Option A. See, observe here. Wherever you like minus two comma three, nowhere it is available minus two. Nowhere it is available minus two. All right, two comma minus three. Minus three is you no. Know, I don't have any. Minus two comma minus three is not at all possible. Option only possibility is what? Two comma three. That is also right way of choosing. That is also right way of choosing. You see, sometimes like you know what happens is like you know deleting an option is also matters a lot. Okay, deleting an options also matters a lot. You know that saves you such a lot of time. That saves you such a lot of time to write an answer within fraction of seconds. So this is also one way of solving. Hope it is clear. So in these many ways you can solve the given question and find out the answer within fraction of seconds. Is that clear, guys? Yes, sir. Okay. Next question. Next question. Let me give you the next question. Uh, next question. Like you know, let us go with the tangent. Next topic is called as tangents. After that, I'll give a question. Tangents of a circle. Tangents of a circle. Basically, tell me. Yes, tangents of a circle is a topic. See, you might have learned in tenth standard. I'm sure you might have learned in tenth standard. Uh, the topic called tangents. All right. Topic called tangents. Okay. See. टेंजेंट ऑफ सर्किल से हमने क्या सीखा है आज तक बताइए मुझे देखो ये सर्किल है मेरा ठीक है दिस इज माई सर्किल यहाँ पे ये मेरा सर्किल तो टेंजेंट क्या होता है ये पॉइंट हो गया टचिंग अ सर्किल एट अ पॉइंट अ लाइन विच इज टचिंग अ सर्किल एट अ पॉइंट इज दैट इज वॉट अ टेंजेंट इज इट इट सो दिस माई टेंजेंट देखो एट ए पॉइंट में दिस कॉन्ट बी टेंजेंट दिस कॉन्ट बी टेंजेंट दिस कॉन्ट बी टेंजेंट एट अ पॉइंट पे टच करना है देखो एक ही पॉइंट पे टच करना है दिस दिस और नॉट टेंजेंट्स हियर आपको पता ही होगा ये हमे करेक्ट इजंट इट गाइस इन 10th स्टैंडर्ड ऑलरेडी यू हैव लर्न दिस सी टेंजेंट इज नथिंग बट टचिंग अ लाइन अ लाइन टचिंग अ सर्कल एट अ सिंगल पॉइंट दैट इज व्हाट टेंजेंट लेट्स से दैट कोई भी ए टेंजेंट लो ओके दिस इज टचिंग अ सर्कल एट पी पॉइंट पी I'm just taking that as x comma y. Okay, clear? All right. So this is my L here. So this is my center. Let's say this is my center. See, I'm just writing the tangent equation of this circle. Tangent equation of let's write equation of tangent. Let me write equation of equation of the line. Equation of the tangent of the circle of the circle x square <laughs> x square one second guys वॉट इज सेंटर ऑफ दिस सर्किल बेटा वॉट इज द सेंटर ऑफ दिस सर्किल जीरो कमर जीरो राइट आई एम राइटिंग इक्वेशन ऑफ द टेंजेंट ऑफ दिस सर्किल ठीक है सी एवरी सर्किल विल बी हैविंग टेंजेंट इक्वेशन राइट See, this is a tangent. I mean, this is a circle here. This circle will be having a tangent equation. If I write no, just another circle, which is in the form of like this. This also will be having a tangent equation. 
isn't it? So all the circles will be having a tangent equation. Let's write one by one. Now, if at all I ask you what is the tangent of this circle, then what is the equation of the tangent? Still this. See, tangent, I told everything, but this is my tangent here. I just took it as L. This is my center. Now, can I join this point, the center and this point here? Like this. Huh. What it is representing now? What it is representing? Tell me. What foot it is representing? Foot of perpendicular, of course, that is one method I could do. And what is, what is another method we can solve? What is another method we can use? Uh, to find out the equation of a tangent is yes, very simple. See, equation of the tangent. I'm asking equation of the tangent. So for finding equation of the tangent, what you need here, y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. This is the formula where I can use to find out the tangent equation. Huh. See, I have x1 and y1 values here. What are they? What are they? See, let's say that, you know, I took a point called x1 comma y1, not x comma y, let's say that x1 comma y1, okay, x1 comma y1 is your point. I have here x1 and y1 y1 values I have. All I need to find out here is what? Value of m. What is m here? Slope. Okay, what is a slope? What is slope? That is what you have to find out. If you find the slope and just substitute there, if you find the slope, after finding slope, substitute here and just find out the equation of the tangent. That's it. Batai. Tell me. See here, foot of perpendicular, you only just told now. What I'm trying to say here, here, if I extend this line, deko, if I extend this line, deko, mere paas, do line hai mere paas, okay? the blue line and red line, they are perpendicular to each other. Am I right? They are perpendicular to each other. So when two lines are perpendicular to each other, what happens? What is the case we have used uh, in straight lines? When two lines are perpendicular to each other, what happens? Product of their slopes would be equal to minus one. Isn't it? Is it clear, guys? Hello? When two lines are perpendicular to each other, the product of slopes would be equal to minus one. If at all they are parallel to each other, slopes would be equal. अगर दो लाइन पैरेलल होगा तो उसका स्लोप्स इक्वल होगा अगर दो लाइन परपेंडिकुलर टू ईच अदर होगा तो क्या होगा प्रोडक्ट ऑफ देयर स्लोप्स विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस हां नाउ आई नीड टू फाइंड आउट स्लोप ऑफ द टेंजेंट m रिप्रेजेंट व्हाट हियर व्हाट इज दिस m स्लोप ऑफ दिस टेंजेंट स्लोप ऑफ टेंजेंट m t इज व्हाट m t इज नथिंग बट स्लोप ऑफ द टेंजेंट आई एम राइटिंग इन अ शॉर्ट वे m t व्हिच इज नथिंग बट स्लोप ऑफ द टेंजेंट फॉर फाइंडिंग स्लोप ऑफ द टेंजेंट व्हाट आई नीड And guys, if you know the differentiation, how many of you know the lesson called the differentiation? How many of you know the lesson called the differentiation, which is nothing but derivatives. Derivatives. You see. Yeah. Derivatives. How many of you know derivatives? Like you know how to find out the dy by dx. Yes. What is derivative? What is derivative basically? What is differentiation? मुझे पहले मुझे बताइए व्हाट इज डेरिवेटिव गाइस यू हैव लर्न डिफरेंशिएशन राइट राइट डिफरेंशिएशन हेलो क्लास 11th हैवंट यू लर्न डिफरेंशिएशन सर व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस सर्कल्स एंड डिफरेंशिएशन में क्या फर्क है मैं दोनों क्या डिफरेंस है व्हाई डू यू व्हाई यू आर रिलेटिंग बोथ ऑफ द चैप्टर्स हियर व्हाई यू आर रिलेटिंग सर्कल्स विद द डिफरेंशिएशन and when you are relating differentiation with the circle yes you have to relate if you know the differentiation it's a pretty easy to find out the slope of the tangent here if you know the differentiation concept it is very useful to find out the slope of the tangent how how any guesses any guesses main aapse pooch raha hu dekho if you know the differentiation if you know how to find out dy by dx theek hai It is easy to find out slope of the tangent. And slope of the tangent and 
finding slope of the tangent and finding the slope of the i mean finding dy by dx what is the relation between these two dono mein kya relation hai any guess dekho this is what as a student you need guys see aapko formulas ye kon bhi nahi puchne wala theek hai no one is going to ask you what what are the formulas you have learned see if someone is going to ask you and what is the differentiation then what would you say you can't say we have learned all the formulas and we just uh, that's how we just done with our exams you can't say that you can't give a statement isn't it you can't give that reason see what is differentiation i'm asking dekho maine bataiye aapko guys i told multiple times i have done with the derivatives lesson the lesson name called as derivative derivatives theek okay? hai that is the lesson where you start calculus part i mean yeah differential calculus ओके देखो अभी मैंने बताया था आपको प्रोसेस ऑफ फाइंडिंग द डेरिवेटिव्स व्हाट डिफरेंशिएशन इफ आई इफ इट ऑल इफ इट ऑल देखो प्रोसेस ऑफ फाइंडिंग द डेरिवेटिव्स इज व्हाट डेरिवेटिव्स डेरिवेटिव्स इज व्हाट डिफरेंशिएशन इज व्हाट डिफरेंशिएशन लेट मी गिव अ क्विक रीकैप हियर प्रोसेस ऑफ फाइंडिंग डेरिवेटिव्स इज डिफरेंशिएशन द डेरिवेटिव का मतलब क्या है बताइए मुझे ठीक है मैंने आप सर यू आर सेइंग दैट प्रोसेस ऑफ फाइंडिंग ये डेरिवेटिव्स इज नथिंग बट डिफरेंशिएशन द डेरिवेटिव का मतलब क्या है फिर गेट माय पॉइंट सो डिफरेंशिएशन इज नथिंग बट यू टोल्ड दैट या डेरिवेटिव का प्रोसेस जो भी होता है वो डिफरेंशिएशन देता है मुझे ठीक है देन डेरिवेटिव का मतलब क्या है हेलो डेरिवेटिव आई डिफाइंड द डिफरेंशिएशन इन अ सिंपल वे राइट प्रोसेस ऑफ फाइंडिंग द डेरिवेटिव इज डिफरेंशिएशन देन डेरिवेटिव का मतलब क्या है सिंपल सा देखो थोड़ा लॉजिक लगाओ इधर बेटा डिफरेंशिएशन लेकिन डेरिवेटिव डेरिवेटिव्स कैन बी डिफाइंड इन मल्टीपल वेज रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ वन क्वांटिटी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू अदर क्वांटिटी दैट इज वन डेफिनेशन आई वुड से फाइंडिंग एन इंस्टेंटेनियस चेंज इन अ वन क्वांटिटी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू अदर क्वांटिटी इज आल्सो अ डेरिवेटिव ओके एंड हाउ कैन यू डिफाइन फाइंडिंग द स्लोप ऑफ द टेंजेंट find the slope of the tangent is nothing but derivative so slope of the tangent and derivative mein kya difference hai? i mean kya relation kya hai idhar guys while reading i mean while just studying the geometrical representation of the derivatives we have learned that derivative is nothing but slope of the tangent finding slope of the tangent gives you derivative dekho simply 